all right so with this video we'll be looking at um some factorize application of factorization video um questions in which they could combine um the factorization questions like for example combining factorization by grouping with factorization of um quadratic um trinomials no the top we have a top section we have a bottom section with the top section we have a squared plus 4a now with the top section as the question suggests factorize and simplify so let's say this is the top section we're going to factorize this now if you realize this is factorization by grouping a is common on, on both sides so i'm going to factorize this so when i factorize this i'm going to have a open bracket a plus four close bracket now a times a a squared a times four is four a so this would be the answer for the top section of the question so this would be the top this is the result for the top this right here now i'm going to factorize the bottom section of the question which is the quadratic section so we have a squared plus three a minus four so remember we're going to this is written in the in the general form for quadratic um, expression so remember there's an one here so one times minus four gives us minus four so we need to find two factors when we multiply them we get negative four but when we add them we get um positive three so those two factors are four times minus one four times minus one is minus four and four minus one is positive three so remember i'm going to replace the middle term with these two factors i'm going to have a squared um, plus four a minus one a minus four so i'm going to be factorizing by grouping pairs so the first pair realize that a is common so we're going to have in the bracket a plus 4. On this side, remember, we should have a plus 4 in the bracket. Anything on one side, put in the bracket on the other side. And what's common up here? 1. If you realize the sign had changed from negative to positive. So we have a negative outside. So with conclusion of factorization at this particular part of the question, we have a plus 4. Remember, anything we have twice, write it on once. And anything that's left outside the bracket, so put in the bracket by itself. So this would be the answer for the bottom section. So the answer for the top we would have a. So this would be equal to. So we have a not nine a open bracket a plus four divided by what we have here a plus four multiplied by a minus one. Now, so we have gone and we factorize the top, we have factorized the bottom, now we should simplify. Now, whenever we have the top and the bottom of a fraction, the um, components are separated by a minus, by um, components are separated by a multiplication sign, we can cancel. Hold on, make a mistake here, this will be four. So, we can cancel top with bottom so this a plus 4 will cancel this a plus 4 so we are left with a over a minus 1 and this would be our result so let's say for example we had i'm going to do a, probably two or more questions on this let's say for example we had um for question two we had x squared minus y squared over x minus y for example now looking at the top section of the question you realize that this, this is different to two squares this is different to two squared so the answer for the top of the factor is in this would be x plus y x minus y and it's divided by it's divided by x minus y now, as I said, once the top and the bottom is separated, once the top section is separated by a multiplication sign, the bottom, we just have x minus y, so we could just cancel the top with the bottom. So x minus y would cancel x minus y, so our result would be x plus y. Okay, let's look at another one. 
So let's say for example you had um uh, two x minus four divided by let's say um let's say we had x minus two. No, so we should factorize and simplify this. No top section is factorization by grouping the bottom section don't have anything to simplify here it's just x minus 2 so what we could have done is factorize the top based on factorization by distributive law so at the top where that 2 is common so it's 2 open bracket we are left with what x minus 2 now the bottom we have x minus 2 so as you can see x minus 2 could cancel x minus 2 so our result our result would have been just 2 Okay, so that's question three, question four. Let's say we had um y um y cube minus um y divided by y bracket y plus one. Let's say we had that for example. So, if you realize the bottom section is already um, factorized, so we could go ahead and factorize the top half of this question. So, if you realize y is common, so we could have pulled out y, open bracket, y squared minus 1. y times y squared is y cubed. y times minus 1 is minus y divided by y bracket y plus 1. Now, looking at the top section, this um, inside the bracket y squared minus 1 this is actually difference of two squares so what I could have done is write y open two brackets 100 plus 100 minus remember it doesn't really matter where we um, put the plus or minus sign as long as they're alternated the signs are alternated in um, each bracket so, <coughs> so this one sorry we're going to have y minus 1 y plus 1 divided by y times y plus 1 so we could go ahead and cancel because it all the, the components the top is separated by a multiplication sign components the bottom separated by a minus sign and as you can see you cannot um, factorize any further so what i could have done is cancel you can cancel um y plus 1 with y plus 1 and i could have cancelled y with y so our result would be our result would be y minus 1 over 1, but that's our result. Let's look at another one, question 5. So these are factorization, factorization, or factorize and simplify um, expressions. So let's say we had, for example, x squared uh, plus x divided by x. Now, what we could have done? Factorize the top half of this question, we would have x bracket x plus 1 divided by x. Now, as you can see, this x could have cancelled this x, so we just cancel it out like that. Or for this question, what we could have done, we have x squared x squared plus x divided by x. <coughs> if we should divide this x squared by x, for example, x squared divided by x plus and divide x by x, divide x by x. Because remember, how we move from here to here, if the bottoms are the same, we'll add the tops. So it would be x squared plus y over a common denominator of x. So what I could have done is cancel. x into x squared goes x plus and x into x goes 1. So either way, we would this question, this one particular question could have worked both ways. Could have worked written like this, worked out like this, or like that. So, those are just some um, typical CXC type questions. Well, they're pretty rare, but they should be able to, once you see the question, you just apply factorization to the numerator and to the denominator, and then cancel where is, ne where is necessary.